the right guys, Sash here bringing episode 5 of the Ride to Inform Ribri. In this episode, I'm not really going to concentrate on sets as much, I just want to talk to you about something guys. So, as some of you may know, on Twitter I spoke to Fluda, asked him for feedback on this series. And he says I should consider doing two sets and then like talk about the sales in more depth because I don't really normally show the sales. So, I really needed you guys to comment on this. So I want to know how you want me to format it. Do you want me to just do two sets an episode and then talk about the sales in more in depth? Or do you want to stick to the three sets but not show like people selling just going to on for the next set not showing how much i have because it's just up to you guys because i want to make the series as like as good as possible for you guys i don't really want to be doing a series which none of you find entertaining i want to obviously entertain you i want to make it better traders and if this involves me showing how much each sold for i would do that guys so it will take place for the next episode if you guys decide there's that needs to be a change so make sure to comment about that guys so you may get into the actual sets now so you've seen the first set for players like Cavani, Alonso, Reina, Diego Lopez, for high rated players who are new people would want because this means they sell easier because people will most likely be looking for these kind of players so it's made it pretty easy to trade with the bigger players because it means nicer profits to be fair so let's see, every, I'll go on to the next set, everything did sell from that set, I think they also weren't me even putting anyone down so that's actually pretty good, the Reina deal was absolute beast, I think I got that at 5 in the morning as well so it's quite a good deal so on to the next set, I did go for even bigger players this time, and one of them was Company. I think I'm going for 55k, I wouldn't like, quote me on that, but I think I'm going for 55k, and it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, it was quite a good deal to be fair. I think I made more than 2k profit on it or something like that, so it was a good deal. Well, it's a risk because obviously I get taxed more, because if I sold it for 6k, that would be 3k tax. So I did get taxed quite a bit more, so it was a risk I had to take. Also, I got people like Czech, Navas, Gomez... I mean, Gomez, or however you want to pronounce that, Eto. People like this, people I knew as big players who had nice stats, who people knew would want because obviously people want to have the best team they could possibly have when it comes to Ultimate Team. And this will mean the, big, the better players because this will kind of make their Ultimate Team that just a little bit better. So this is what I went for when I was trading with these players throughout this episode and I will be doing it in the future. I might even get to inform soon as well because... Obviously, people want informs on their team. This means it's kind of easier to sell, to be fair. So, let's see. Just listen everything up now. Just going for this set should be like the best profit, I think, of this episode so far. I'm not 100 sure. But going on to the next set, everything did sell. I think I had to decrease Gomez because... Or Gomez, I mean, because a lot of people were like putting him up as well, which meant his price is kind of... Mine is a little higher than the cheapest buy now. So, I had to change this by putting him down a little bit. But still made a nice profit, guys, to be fair. So... Going on to the next set, this one involves a lot of Fabregas, I think, because I've kind of liked Fabregas to trade with. I do it on my main account as well, because everyone likes Fabregas because of his stats. He's got nice passing, nice pace, nice shot. So it's nice stats, to be fair, and a lot of people want him because he's in La Liga as well. So this is what I looked for when I was getting players for this set and actually the whole episode. I just like to go for players which I know will sell pretty easily, and I know even I would be willing to buy if I was going to buy a player, so... That shows you guys why I actually buy these players and why I know they're absolute beast deals and they will sell every time. You always get asked the question, why does my players sell like yours? Why don't they go as quick? Because, guys, you have to have patience. Put mine out at night most of the time. Or I just get a player out and I will sell and I can put him just below the cheapest buy now. Most of the time people will buy him, especially if people like Eto, uh, Fabregas, Alonso, people like this. Because, obviously, people are going to want these for their ultimate team. So that's why I trade with them kind of players. So... This set I thought was quite good, I don't think it's as good as the other set, so it wouldn't hold me to that, so I don't actually know how much profit I made. But I did actually get some nice profits, helped to go over 200k, and I think, I think we're on like 230k at the end of the episode, quite all clo uh, quite close to it. So, it was a good episode guys, and I'm hoping you like this episode. As I said, please comment how you want me to set out the episodes. And also, like, like, thank you for 4k guys, it's a big thank you from me and Dan. Thanks for helping us get over that, and please help us on our road to 5k subs now. And I'd like to say sorry because of how inactive we've been, guys. Been really busy with schoolwork and social life, but we will try and get back to our two like upload every two days or every day. So we'll try and sort that out. It should be an actually training guide out soon for you guys, help you get better at trading. So if you like this episode, please help me get 100 likes. Like all the other episodes, that would be absolutely beast. And subscribe to stay up to date with our content, especially our trading content. Many of you seem to like it. So anyway, guys, have a nice day.